Professional photographers know that it's always best to work in a way that avoids the need to ramp up ISO levels. Even though today's cameras do a great job of dealing with the digital noise created when using high ISO, some situations will call for an ISO north of 3200 and maybe even higher than 6400, so this is where some digital noise may well occur. Of course, some cameras do have their own noise reduction technology, but this can prove hit and miss, so it's good to know that there's software out there that can help you banish noise in post-production, and Affinity Photo is a great example. Affinity Photo allows you to combat digital noise in a range of picture formats, so it doesn't matter if you've shot in RAW or JPEG, Affinity Photo can help. Cleaning up imagery and getting rid of the noise and speckles associated with using high ISO levels will make your photos more sellable and should be able to net you a higher price than images that suffer with noise, especially if you're intending to sell these images on stock sites. So let's get started. And when you open a raw file in Affinity Photo, it will automatically take you to the developer persona. It's important to make any global edits first, as this will affect how much noise reduction your images will need. So you can start by making tweaks to variables in the Basics tab, such as Exposure, Shadows and Highlights, and Saturation. I'm going to increase both my Exposure and Saturation, as it's quite a dark scene that we've photographed. And you'll see already a big jump in the noise levels visible in this frame. Let's take a zoom in, and yep, you can see all the noise as this image was captured at quite a high ISO level. At the right of the interface, you can now switch from the Basics tab to the Details tab, and click on the Noise Reduction option. By default, when working in RAW, Affinity adds an element of Colors Noise Reduction, so play around with this first. Remember, don't just ramp it up to 100, or that will really compromise image quality. Instead, try and achieve a balance. Of course, the real balancing act is when you come to increase the luminance slider to the right. This will drastically reduce the digital noise in the frame, but at the cost of sharpness and detail. This is where the luminance detail slider helps, as increasing this to the right will weigh the balance towards the detail rather than the noise reduction. Again, experiment with the sliders to find the best recipe for your image, once you're happy with the RAW file, you can then head to the top left of the interface and click on the Develop button option. You'll be transported into the software's photo persona, and this is where you'd actually start if you were editing a JPEG image rather than a RAW. You can edit this image non-destructively, either as a whole frame or elements of the frame, such as the sky. So we're going to head over to the toolbar so we can use the Selection tool, and the keyboard shortcut for this is W. Use the selection tool to highlight a specific area of the frame. In our case, it's going to be the sky. What we're going to do is add some further noise reduction, but not to the whole frame, just to the sky. With your area selected, head to the top of the interface and select the layer option. Scroll down, select new live filter layer, scroll across, select noise, and then select Denoise. A dialog box will appear, and this gives you roughly the same options that we had in the Raw Develop option. So we can increase colors, and we can increase luminance. And this will further denoise the sky while leaving the rest of the frame untouched by this denoising. Because this is a non-destructive edit, if you don't like it, you can simply take it away and start over again. There we go, that's how to use noise reduction in Affinity Photo, whether it be with a JPEG or a RAW file. Have fun editing your images and I'll see you next time.